Hey there, Janko Redgers here from Cord Cutters, the show that's all about getting rid of your expensive pay TV subscription. We have a special episode this week. We had our first ever meetup everywhere last week uh, where we had cord cutters all across the country and beyond come out to talk about their cord cutting experience, give each other advice and encourage each other to do the step. We had some events in uh, San Francisco, in Los Angeles, in Toronto, in Lima, Peru as well, and even in smaller towns like Royal Oak, Michigan. Apparently they had a couple of people come out, they had a tornado warning for that day, they still braved that and came out, and they already signed up to do the next meetup. And this is really what this is all about. We want to give the community a platform to organize their own gatherings. So you can go to meetup.com slash and sign up for your next own meetup in your town or we're going to have a couple of other bigger events coming up later this year so stay tuned for this and in the meantime we shot a couple of interviews yesterday with average cord cutters to talk about their setup so let's take a look at that I'm here with Alex. We're talking to people in the crowd about their cord cutting setups and how long they've been without cable. So uh, when did you cut the cord? I cut the cord about five years ago. So I was sort of an early adopter. I got fed up with the prices, frankly, and I and, uh, needed to do some cost cutting at home. But what I did was I went to the media center route. So I have a media center PC at home and uh, went ahead and bought a couple of digital uh, capture cards, put them in, and put a big chicken wire looking antenna on the roof, which my neighbors thought was a little strange, and started recording all the over the air uh, content. It's actually amazingly good HD content off the uh, off the airwaves. And then uh, for sports, I might have to go to a sports bar every once in a while, but that's all right. It's a social activity. Chris, uh, what brings you to the cord cutter meetup? Are you a cord cutter? Not yet. I'm a wannabe cord cutter. Uh, I, I came to the meetup basically to figure out what is everyone else doing. Um, you know, I'd love to cut the cord, but so far I've looked at all the different devices and all the different services, and it seems like everybody does a little something, but nobody has a an end solution yet. And so I'm I'm excited to do it. I'm just waiting to see what's next, what's coming. Is it is it a box? Is it a TV that you put software on? You know, what's 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 the future hold and, and wh which direction should I go before I jump in? Hi, this is Stacy Higginbotham at Giga Ohm. I'm here at the Cord Cutters Meetup in Austin with Blake and Weston. Hi. Hello. Hello. And can you guys quickly tell me why did you cut the cord? She made me do it. Uh, well, the biggest reason was to first save money and then we had some secondary reasons, part of which was we didn't really want to continue giving money to the cable companies. That's the same as the first weekend yeah. or reason. We could get everything we were watching on television online for free. And uh, the stuff that we couldn't get online for free was pretty much just a waste of our time anyway. So, so we weren't spending our weekend precious hours in front of the cable. Yeah, watching things we really don't need to be watching. So you have no subscriptions? Do you buy anything on iTunes? Mm, no. 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 We're free. All right. Awesome. All right, can you describe your setup real fast? Uh, we have a... Uh, Paps Blue Ribbon, no, it's a Miller Lite tall boy can cut in half and butterfly taped to the wall with a cable tied to it, actually soldered to it, and it gets this beautiful HD. So, so what do you, uh, what's your setup at home? What kind of shows do you watch? Setup meaning what technology I have kind yeah, of set. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a surround sound, 54 inch plasma, got my Xbox, got my, my, my uh, PlayStation. Um, so it, it's, it's pretty cool and I enjoy it. Um, in terms of what shows I watch, I really don't watch that much TV, but I tend to hear, you know, check out this show, check out this show, and I end up either getting the DVD or I can find it on Netflix or Hulu or whatever the case is, and, and that's, that's completely enough for me. I would suggest that everybody needs to cut their cord because, you know, you're spending 100 bucks to get the basic. I mean, I know their basic is like 30, 40, 50 bucks, whatever it is, but honestly, like, you know, they try to push you with, with, with bigger packages. You don't really need it. You got everything you need online. You got everything you need, either free or you spend seven, eight dollars for Hulu Plus or Netflix, and you're completely good. You're good to go. Okay. Yep. And any advice that you'd have for uh, a new cord cutter? Uh, you know, the second you do it, go out top of the mountain and just scream and say, Liberation, I love it. And that's the way to go. That's the way to do it, my man. All right. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for. for talking to us. Absolutely. All right. Happy thanks to a lot. Be here. Thank Bye. you guys.